At the time of this recording, it is currently October 31st, which means it's Halloween. So I thought today I'd do something a little horror orientated. Uh, today's review isn't specifically over a book so much as it is an author, and that author is H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, I do have a book with me. This is the Necronomicon by H.P. Lovecraft. It is more or less uh, the complete works of H.P. Lovecraft. This has every single story he has ever written in it. A very large, 900 pages. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, H.P. Lovecraft was uh, a horror writer. He wrote horror stories, short stories specifically, in the early 1900s, 1920s, 1930s, around then. And he's one of the pioneers, if not the pioneer, of the horror genre for the 20th and 21st century. He is also the man that influenced Stephen King, and he lies on the top of Stephen King's favorite authors. So if you enjoy Stephen King, you will more than likely enjoy H.P. Lovecraft's stories. Personally, H.P. Lovecraft is one of my favorite authors in the entire world, and when it comes to horror, he is my favorite author, Stephen King falling close behind. The way that H.P. Lovecraft writes horror is outstanding. Uh, and I believe there are two kinds of people that comes to this thing. There are those kinds of people that will hate the way he writes horror, and those kinds of people that will love the way he writes horror. And it really comes down to how you read a story. What H.P. Lovecraft loves to do is form a story, but not give you specific details. Whereas some uh, horror authors will go into great detail about gruesome things, or say if there's a creature in the story, he'll describe what the creature is like. That's not what H.P. Lovecraft does. What H.P. Lovecraft does is tells you that there is a, for example, if there's a story about a creature, he'll tell you that there is a creature and that it's terrible and very frightening. I'm not really sure how to word it the way he does, but essentially he, he says those sorts of things. And he does it in such a way that the reader has to fill in just exactly what the creature is really like. And if you have a good imagination, you will scare yourself pretty badly with that. It's it's very impressive, because before I had read him, I, I I already knew that about him, but I'd never thought that kind of thing really happened. Like, I didn't think I would fill in all these details myself and scare myself. And it's not like you specifically read the story and then go, oh, well, it's time to scare myself now. It doesn't really work that way. You subconsciously will, if you're that sort of reader, will do a great job of filling in the blanks he leaves with whatever you find personally to be scary. And it's just outstanding the ways that he does this. His his stories are very unnerving to me. Uh, they're not necessarily... Some people view horror as something directly scary. Uh, you know, a guy stabbing someone else with a knife in the face is going to be scary to some person, and while that might be scary to a lot of people, some people are going to find something else that's unnerving and unsettling more scary. And to me, that kind of horror is much more scary because that's the kind of horror that sticks with you and it makes you think. After you finish one of his stories, you might initially say, oh, that wasn't that scary. And then it's going to sit in your mind for a little bit and you're going to think about it. And over the next few days, it's really going to bother you. And that's what I found with a lot of these stories. H.P. Lovecraft is just a wonderful, wonderful author. I cannot believe how good he is at writing his stories. Honestly, every I have read every single short story by H.P. Lovecraft, which is every story, and I can honestly say there wasn't a single one that I didn't dislike. There were some that I felt were a little slower. <coughs> he does have that problem sometimes, I do believe, is that some of his stories tend to feel a little slow and drawn out. You might get that feeling. But other than that, I can honestly say all, all of his stories, I did not find one that I disliked at all. I would uh, recommend you pick this up if you can, if you're interested in all of his works. Uh, it's called The Necronomicon, again, uh, very large. I believe it cost me about 25 or $30, so a little on the expensive side. If you're more just interested in, in say, uh, getting into some of his, uh, uh, j just reading a few of his works, uh, at most bookstores they'll have, say, like, H.P. Uh, Lovecraft's Best Stories, Volume 1, and then it'll have, say, four, five, six short stories in it. Uh, so you can get one of those. Those are much cheaper. I personally went ahead and got the complete works because I want to own every single story he's ever written because they're all wonderful. Uh, and if you don't mind me making a few quick recommendations of stories, uh, at least my personal favorites, uh, though it might take me a while, I'll see if I can get them off the top of my head. One of them was The Music of Eric Zan. Uh, that was one of, by far, his best stories. 
And my, my personal favorite is Herbert West Reanimator, uh, a story about a man who... Well, I'll, I'll let you find out what it's about mostly, but he has a fascination with corpses and bringing people back to life. So we'll just leave it at that. And of course, his most famous story is The Call of Cthulhu, uh, which many people are familiar with, even if they aren't aware of H.P. Lovecraft, they've heard the word Cthulhu before. Some people believe, believe it's pronounced Cthulhu. Uh, if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, but it is Cthulhu. So I don't care what you think. Uh, actually, H.P. Lovecraft had ne never designated a way to say Cthulhu, so I honestly think it's a moot point. Um, regardless, to wrap this up, this book is wonderful. This author is wonderful. Everything that he has written is outstanding, in my opinion. I would definitely recommend you pick this up. It is a wonderful book. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 0 to 10, I would probably give all of the works a 9 or a 9.5 out of 10. Sometimes they'll drag a little bit, be a little bit slow, and some people will not enjoy his style of writing, but I think overall, most people who are actively looking for things to read are the sorts of people who tend to have good imaginations, tend to be able to fill in the blanks in the way that H.P. Lovecraft wants you to. So if you're looking for some good good horror stories or you want to see uh, what influenced Stephen King, if you're into Stephen King, any of those things, you should look into some of his stories. You could even just look into a single short story of his. He, he is a wonderful, wonderful author, and I would definitely very highly recommend you pick this up. So thank you.